Hi, I'm going to show you how to quickly install and get started with writing your first Fuse application and deploy on OpenShift. So first of all, make sure you have downloaded the um, developer suite um, that can be found on Red Hat Developers website. And after you download it, please double click on the actual file and the development suite is going to guide you through the entire process of installing both Developer Studio and the CDK, which is the OpenShift is running on your local environment. If you don't have the ID or password um, for Red Hat developers website, please register for one. And during the installation, the um, developer suite is going to look for the components that you, you are supposed to have before you install everything. So if you don't have them, please go ahead and download and install everything. And please make sure that you have the right um, version number that's needed. After you have all the components, it's going to start de um, deploying to install two things. The developer studio and the container development kit, the CDK. It's going to take a while to download. Please be patient. And then once we've installed everything, we can start um, working on our uh, first project by going into the developer studio and pick a um, workspace that you would like to. But before we start um, writing our first project, we are going to install the integration plugins that are needed to do our um, integration project. Basically just installed everything in the plugin and they say yes to the um, terms and condition. And then that's it. It's going to restart your developer studio again. And once it's restarted, we can start right our application. First of all, we're going to start our first project by um, right-click on the Project Explorer and select Fuse Integration Project. And please name your project to anything here. This is ex um, extremely important thing is make sure you are using the uh, Fuse on OpenShift templates. And then once everything's generated, I can start um, by running the application um, using the Spring Boot command. It is a um, Spring Boot Maven plugin that I'm using, which is going to start the application locally so I can test it um, locally as well. So here now you can see that the camera route is now start to generate and print out a, a set of random numbers. Okay, we, we, can, we now see it's working locally. Now it's time to deploy it onto um, the OpenShift environment. So under where you've downloaded your previous development suite, you'll find a folder called CDK. So go inside CDK. Um, you should find a um, file named Vagrant File. And here we're going to specify the versions of the OpenShift. I'm using 3.4 now, but um, feel free to change to the um, OpenShift versions that you wanted to use. Then we're going to use Vagrant App to bring up the entire OpenShift. So it's going to take a couple of minutes as well because it's downloading the um, image needed. Once we've done the installation, we, we can now start to install the binary OC client. Um, so just follow the command um, on the, uh, that's printed out on the console. We are going to export the path so we can call OC and then um, export the environment as well. Once we're done, we can start logging into OpenShift. First of all, we're going to um, log in as admin because I want to install the Fused image stream first. I'm going to log in as admin um, with password admin. And then I'm going to the um, namespace called OpenShift because that's where I want to install my Fuse image stream. And then type in the command to install Fuse image stream. Um, the image stream command, is, you can find them in the uh, comment section, section in the uh, videos as well. So um, once we've got it done, we can log back as developer. So we're logging in back as OpenShift developer with um, 
password D E V E L. Which is automatically generated for us when we uh, when we install the OpenShift. So now I'm gonna give it a new namespace for my project. I'm gonna call it my fuse my fist project. I'm gonna work under this project for this namespace. So um, once that we've created, we we can start going back to the OpenShift console. In this case, it's 10.1.2.2, and then log in as a as the developer. Here you can now see the um, projects that we have just created. And then I'm going to um, install my project into this namespace. But before I do that, I wanted to set up my OpenShift in my developer's um, studio first. So go into the OpenShift um, Explorer, um, type in the server address, which is going to be 10.1.2.2 uh, in this case. And then um, we're going to set the um, token. So log in as a developer because we want to uh, use the developer ID and password to um, push our application into. Um, so yes, once we've got everything done, it's um, the uh, Explorer is going to connect to the OpenShift and get all the information from there. And then we can start um, deploying it by using the Maven um, toolings. And here, there's, a, there's several different places we need to change. First of all, it's a namespace, because we want to push our namespace into my FIS project. And I'm going to use the um, developer as my user. So I'm going to change the setting in the um, Maven toolings. And then I'm going to start. So it's going to um, take another couple of minutes to um, push the uh, entire project onto, onto OpenShift. So what exactly this is doing is it's building the project locally and then push the project binary onto OpenShift. And then OpenShift combining the image stream will, will um, create this container, container image, and then that, that will be used in OpenShift to run. So now we see that OpenShift is now running and in the log, we see now it's, it's printing out a bunch of random numbers. Um, so now we know it's running in OpenShift. And another way for looking at it is go into the um, Java console. Inside Java console, it's going to give you a more illustrated way or a, more, a diagram that shows you um, the entire camel routes and how it's now doing. And we're done. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.